Hey, and we are back. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, 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 y'all. It's the Free Gems Podcast, man. Episode 44. Four, 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 you know four. what I'm saying? It's uh, the second episode Angel of the new video. Oh, 4 4 Angel Numbers. Are you into shit like that? <laughs> Let me find out, bro. Because uh, I, I ain't gonna trolling. lie. I was trolling. <laughs> All right, cool, cool, cool. Don't get me started on none of that. None of that, uh, what's that shit called? Astrology or the angel numbers, all that other good shit. You know what I'm saying? No, don't get me started. Are, are those even connected? Are angel numbers and like astrology connected? I feel like they are. I feel like they are. I don't know, but I feel, I feel like if you like believe in one, you believe in the other. I, yeah, I, yeah, I, I feel like they're, uh, yeah. Something like that. Two sides the same coin. I feel I, like I, I hate that shit. People be coming to get tatted all the time. They be like, "Yeah, can I, I want to get three, three, three on my wrist?" I'm like, "All right, cool." I be like, "Yeah," because every time I look at the clock, it's always three, three, three. I'm like, "I dead didn't ask." Like, I really yeah. didn't. I really didn't. Like, I know it's very <laughs> like, sentimental to you. Okay. Yeah. Right. Now. Nah. Anyway, so it's the Free Jets Podcast, man. We was just uh, we was just chopping it up, yo. So did you see the national title games? Which you asked me right before Bro. the cameras got on. <laughs> and um, shit, I don't know. What was going? It looked like Georgia was playing Teaneck High School, nigga. Nah, I don't know who they played. Yo, bro. Yo, bro. It was what was it like, sixty-five to seven or some shit like, like that? Yo, bro. Listen, I ain't seen an ass whooping like that the whole game. I'm just like, yo, please fight back. Throw in the towel. Just please fight towel. back. Yo, come on. Can you move your mic closer to uh, to where you're looking, so, like the direction you're facing? Oh, I, like this. I hope y'all like, get you to can hear. move the whole thing over, like the whole arm. No, no, like like push the. Listen, I hope y'all hearing Marv's voice right now because that's the producer in the background. Shout out to Marv, the yeah, producer. Shout out to, Marv, shout out to Bravery real. Studios. You know what I'm saying? I think this is the first, uh, first uh, voice cameo. Because <laughs> you're looking that direction, but the mic is pointing out. Oh, you're right. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, okay. There we go. Yeah. That makes sense. Logistically. You know what I'm saying? We're here. That's what I'm talking about, Marv. And for yeah. those who can't tell, you know what I'm saying? We had a little different angle, you know what I'm saying? So y'all can see the rest of the studio listen, because. Listen, I'm sitting right here under the palm tree. You feel yeah, me? real island vibe. You, know you feel me? The island of New Jersey. You feel me? <laughs> you know what's crazy? You know, I just found out like maybe like a year or two ago that like Jersey is an island in like Europe. Like there's a yeah. country named Jersey. Fuck that. I did not know that. Which makes sense. Everything new has like a predecessor. So it's like New York, there's a York. You know and, what I'm saying? London, and, the New London, no, New England, New England. Like And a lot a, a lot of um a lot of the areas in this a lot of the areas around here uh, were named after places in like uh Netherlands and stuff. They have a Harlem in the Netherlands. With two Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Harlem is Harlem, in the Netherlands? Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Well, yeah. All that, <laughs> a lot of the Dutch, you know, the influence from there, names from over oh, here. Oh, that makes so a much sense. A lot of those influences and a lot of Na Native American influences. That makes so much sense. Hack and sack, Native American, you know? Yeah, you're a fucking so many, right. So many Native names around here. Paquanic, you know, not too far from here. Yeah, yeah, All those. Yeah, yeah, what, yeah. What do you think? Mawa. No, all those Native you American names. About, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. They're all Native American names, facts. So a lot yeah. of Dutch influence and a lot of Native influence as far as the names of places around here. Yeah, that shit's crazy. But um, yeah, back to what we were just talking about the the national title game. <laughs> crazy, yo, bro, fucking crazy, yo, I, man. I, this it's funny. I I, I knew, knew TCU had no business. Listen, there. I I knew that the actual national title game was Ohio State and Georgia. Yeah, I was like, whoever wins this game is gonna win. But I ain't know it was gonna be like. Yeah, I didn't know 65 to 7 was yeah, crazy. No, it shit no, got no. out of hand so quick. And receivers running wide open. Like, <laughs> not even, like it wasn't they had even me a, and you playing DB out there. Yo, it wasn't even a thing. Like, <laughs> no no resistance at all from the line. You got to realize, they just lost five starters on defense in the first round. That's Georgia. Cool. Yeah. And they just replaced. They were, they were, they were really like Ben. Like, <laughs> that, yeah, the 99's the a true freshman in the middle? Like, what? True freshman? He was a true freshman. And he, and he just replaced Jordan Davis. Isn't wasn't isn't ninety nine? Wasn't he like six fucking three? Yeah, like three hundred ten pounds. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> See, that's what happens when you play them big schools like that, like Bama and, and Ohio State. They got them These hog mollies up front. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> them, them O O line D line. You you just you can't do nothing. You can't graders. win in the You trenches. can't do you can't do nothing with it. Yeah, you so, can't do nothing with it. And, and other news. Um, well, actually, <laughs> and and I don't, before we move on, I just want to say Stetson Bennett has has an amazing story. Oh yeah, Stetson Bennett for people who don't know, that's the uh, quarterback. Quarterback for Georgia. quarterback for Georgia and. It's funny because him and Daniel Jones are the same age. I was about to say, um, Stetson yeah. Ben is like twenty five. This thing is like Daniel I age. But, yeah. but he has he has such an amazing story, and he walked on to Georgia. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. walked on to Georgia. Lost his law. Um, they gave the job to the to the five star recruit, of course. Um, you know, and then when he when he was start when Stetson was starting, even Georgia still doubted him. But right. now he he has the most decorated resume out of anybody since the college football era. Any player, he's yeah. won two national two national championships, Heisman finalist, and he's been an MVP in all four four bowl games. That is pretty crazy. I think from like somebody that. who somebody who was a walk on. So and he looked little as hell. He looked he's like he's only about like five eleven. They they listed at five eleven. They say he's not five eleven. 
He's listed at five eleven. So he might be five nine. Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> you know uh, bat- basketball they they add two three oh, inches yeah, to everybody. Yeah. Every, in basketball. Yeah. But yeah, so that's crazy. That, that's an that's an amazing yeah. underdog and story. A, a walk on for people who don't know is a is a player who yes, uh, yes. is a, is a player that tries on to a college team. And normally when it comes to the college, especially big schools like Georgia, any honestly any college is gonna be hard to walk on to. But especially these colleges, which are like they're like pro team fucking. Uh, it, listen, when you go to Georgia, you're going to the league. Yeah, <laughs> like, like basically, you like are, you don't go there that I think you're going professional. So for him to be able to walk on, you know what I'm saying, not get not it's not like he earned a scholarship fresh out of high school and he had a crazy resume out of high school. No, he just came on, tried out, ended up making a getting getting, getting, getting a spot and and then and worked his, his way worked his way up. So, you know, and like like you were saying, so um you have the people who were recruited on scholarship, you know. Um so those are the ones that the teams really want, you know. Yeah, they they, are, they go out and actively recruit them they get a a, a free four year scholarship yeah. and those are the ones that they expect to do something yeah. and then every year they have tryouts that people can walk onto yeah and, and it's earn only, only spot. like 3 to 5 spots isn't there and and what and of course once you're a walk on it's not like you're going to start at the top of the depth chart you got to work your way up you got to so. work your way up right so uh, big shout out to Stetson Bennett because yeah man that, that is I love the underdog story that's why I was rooting for TCU but I quickly saw that no nah, I, I was rooting for Georgia <laughs> I wanted Georgia to roll them cuz yeah. yeah, I, I, uh, you know, <laughs> I don't want to go into it, but yeah. Oh, it sounds like there's race involved. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, I mean, it's, it's hey, Texas, look, Georgia. Exactly. I mean, I'm about to say, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Texas, Georgia. They like tomato, cousins. tomato, potato, potato. <laughs> <but. laughs> Two different but, regions. And other than it was, um, so I mean, rest in peace, the big scar, man. But have you been seeing all yeah. this drama involving uh, yeah. his name, son? Yeah. Oh my god, I hate to see this. Shit. I, I and I hate, to, I hate, I hate to see that, especially <laughs> after somebody dies with their family and everything. Yeah. So big scar is the, the rapper out of Memphis, and uh, rest in peace to him, and uh, you know, prayers up to his family. But it's been. It's it's been a hectic last couple of days slash weeks because um, ever since he passed, it's been a lot of discrepancies going on. Like his family's been uh, kind of going on Instagram and going on social medias and they're calling out Gucci Mane and his wife and them as a label and as a business because apparently they didn't want to pay for they apparently They just feel like they haven't done enough. The and Gucci, Gucci's wife literally sent them a receipt of them paying twenty thousand for the funeral. Yeah, and their response, the family's response was well, the funeral was. was sixty. So what is twenty to sixty thousand? Thanks for anything. And, but, anyway, yes, yes. But at first they were like, oh, they said he said he was going to pay for the funeral. No response. And then Keisha, Gucci's wife, showed the receipts of them paying twenty. I, uh, you know, it, it's very unfortunate. I feel like. It might have been a money grab. You feel me? That they they didn't expect them to pay the the funeral home directly. Mm-hmm. You know, and uh, I I feel like that could have been the play there. Mm-hmm. Like they didn't expect it, they expected them to get it for the funeral instead of them paying directly to the funeral home. Yeah, but yeah, it's just yeah. a sticky situation. And a, a par- a, allegedly, um, his family saying how Gucci wanted the chain back. Right, right. That's what I was gonna say next. Right, Gucci wanted the chain back, and his sister, uh, Big Scar's sister. <laughs> Came back and said, "Get that shit back in blood," which is ironic. That's a Pusha T track. Yeah. Pusha T is on a Gucci man. Yeah. This is a great comeback. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. But at the same time, who's you know, currently incarcerated, by the way? Um, yeah, yeah. Listen, this is what I was about to say. Gu- people gotta understand. Gucci man at the end of the day is a businessman. Okay. When these rappers get signed, a lot of times these chains are in their contracts. You know what I mean? Yeah. These, these rappers, because people gotta understand, rappers are getting signed for an average of anywhere between fifty to about two hundred and fifty thousand. And when I say that's what your rapper is getting signed for, that's their entire budget. They're getting 10% of that up front. That's what they get paid. So when you hear, oh, this rapper signed a million dollar deal, they're getting 10% up front payment. So a million dollar deal, they're going to get $100,000 sent to their account. And then the, the other 900000 is part of their budget. So usually. as far as studio time as far and stuff stu- like that, right. shooting You're paying videos, for studio time, and shooting music video. You're talking about studios, studios that's costing 200 an hour. You're in the fucking studio six days a week, nonstop, all fucking day. That shit ain't cheap. That's you not. You know what I'm saying? That's where the budget goes. That, music, music videos, videos uh, to- mo- moving around, right, yeah. traveling, trying to get you the agencies to get booked to these, do these shows. Granted, they they, they, they they bring you a cash flow normally because what happen is they start getting you booked for shows, club appearances, walkthroughs, stuff like that. So there's more cash flow that comes into it once you sign a deal. But people got to understand, 
if Gucci, because Big Scar, you know what I mean, he couldn't have been signed for more, for more than, I don't really see no way he could have got signed for more than half a million and maybe a million back then because he got signed years ago. Yeah, he's you been. Know what yeah. I'm he was on the, actually, he was on the freshman list in like 2021, if I'm not mistaken. I think he was so. On the double XL I freshman. think he was. I think he was. Right. But you haven't really heard too much noise, you know what I mean? Like, as far as like, is he blowing up? But my but, point is. But, but you feel me? He's, he was probably, he's more, he's blew, blew up in the South. You feel me? He's more. Yeah, you're right. No, 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 facts. You Especially if you, if you, listen, if you got that South market, if you down in like Memphis, Atlanta, Texas, Louisiana. Hey, you could right Louisiana, like Boosie, bro. Bo Boosie, that, Boosie's a god down there. Like god you can't, down you can't there. say nothing about Boosie down you, there. You can't say nothing, nothing about Boosie down there. And guess what? He's getting booked every single weekend. Like you'll be surprised because we we're up in Jersey. We don't, we don't see, know exactly. You don't see Boosie at the club. You're not gonna see uh, uh, Big Thirty at the club up here. You're not gonna see. You know what I'm saying? A lot, a lot of these different Sauce Walker not really gonna do no shows up here. But they go down south. And they're doing two, three shows a night at these clubs, doing 10,000 here, 15, 20 here, depending on the size of the club, depending on they buzz in that city. You know what I mean? So, and, um, and I can, you can actually, you can parallel that to somebody mm -hmm. like A Boogie. You feel me? A Boogie's huge around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, if, but I'm not saying he's not big anywhere else, but he's not. Yeah, A Boogie. At, his name don't ring bells right, around right, right. here like it would in Texas, out maybe out right, on the West he, Coast. You right, feel me? He's not in Nebraska like that. He's not in motherfucking the middle of, you know, no, he, he's huge in Chicago, but. You but you know, yeah, right? no, I get what I'm saying. saying. It's, right, it's right, the right. same. A type boogie of... in Memphis is not the same booking price as a boogie in New York. Yeah, but I say all that to say, so Big Scar, his, that chain might have been twenty thousand. Let's say he got signed for a half a million, his advance was fifty thousand. That chain could have been twenty out of that fifty right there, or they could have given him the fifty in cash and put another twenty five on his neck. But that's normally how that goes. Yeah. So a lot of times, it's almost like when you uh, it's, it's almost like when you get traded from an NFL team. Like once you get once you get cut, you got to get that jersey back, get him pads back, give all that good shit right back, gang. Like, it's over for all that. You know what I mean? Like, that's just how that works. So, they're coming at Gucci, and it's like, yo, bro, that's an investment. And at the end of the day, like, I mean, it's sad that Big Scar had to pass away um, from an overdose. But it's just like, you know, Gucci's been taking so many L's when it comes so, to his artists. All his artists. Every bro. single one. Like, not every single one, because yeah. I don't know every single one of his artists. But I can name you, like, five off the top of my hand that have either died or went or, to jail in the or, last or, two, three or years. Or currently incarcerated. Right, exactly. Died in jail or currently. Think about it. Literally, think about just just the recent ones because we got older ones too. Like <laughs> we got like R.P. Slim Duncan and a bunch R of other yeah. a bunch of other yeah, artists. R yeah. But how many I didn't pan out? You got Big Scar and uh, that passed Deceased. away. Pusha T. Uh, Coach the Ghost. Coach uh, the Ghost Brooklyn. just got just got murder. His murder. Um, He's done. Fuliano. Fuliano. Uh, he man, passed away. Rest nah, in peace. Nah, he, nah, he's he's incarcerated right now. Fool? Oh, I'm thinking about um. Baby think, mom ain't shit. Yeah, huh? yeah, you yeah. See, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. I'm thinking about son from a. Uh, uh, what was his name? The the dude that had the, the 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 he had the funeral in the club. That shit was crazy. Oh yeah, <laughs> that, shit, that shit was yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My son um, from DC. I know um, you're talking about. I know you're yeah, talking I, about. I thought that's who you were talking. I think that's, there's Fuliano and Fujiano. No, no, no. Fulio is the dude from Jacksonville. I know yeah. Fulio. Fulio, fucking but, crazy. It, but that's four right there. That that's four, and I'm I'm just, it's just not coming up to the top of my head right now because I haven't been looking through his whole list. But I know he just signed like Big Walk Dog. Shout out to him. I, I, uh, I heard T, Big Walk Dog. T. Ali Senko. That's my. That's my I've been, been rocking with T. Ali Senko. I, I, I bangs with Enchanting, the, 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 the woman on his label. Oh, see, I ain't even nah, like nah, I, I bangs. I bangs, I bangs, <laughs> I bangs you just came from the Wazoo with that one. Shout, <laughs> out, shout out to her. Nah, you know she nah, nah, nah. She go hard. She go hard. Yeah. I, I be keep, I be keeping up. Feel me, like. Yeah, if I had the list in front of me, trust me, I, we we can go through it. But just having four on top of my head, it's like, damn, those are all investments that are done for. Uh, and 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 Pooh Shacy ain't, ain't don't it look it's looking quiet. He's getting years, years. You feel he me? He already got sentenced. He, I didn't know that. How many? How many? Yeah, he I'm pretty sure he got. I think it was like didn't he get like seven years or something like that? Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know he got sentenced. I didn't yeah, know but I think it's, it's a state case though, so it'll be on like three and a half. He's already been gone like two, so we'll see Pooh in like a year and a half. And speaking of jail, shit, yo, bro, I, I, they've been saying this shit forever, bro. But they saying the wave is coming home. They saying Max B. I know they've been saying Max B's coming home since he oh went to jail. Oh my so, gosh! I don't know. I've been yo every time. But they yo, say April, bro. They say April. They say this every three years. Listen, man. Every three years they say Max know, B's coming home. If y'all don't know who Max Bigavell, y'all know who my son <laughs> Charlie Wingate is. Then y'all listen. Y'all don't know the free the wave. Yeah, listen, yo, man. Free the wave, bro. They listen. say this every two years. Not There's been hype though. around it. If y'all know the story of Max B, Max Bigavell, listen. A, mo a lot of your favorite artists have been influenced by Max B. Max I, B was one of those first B. raspy voice motherfuckers yeah, like that was super gangster, super smooth, and, yeah, like, but super smooth with, 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 with the Cat Williams perm, right? <laughs> but and had no business singing on every chorus. But he was For on no every reason. chorus singing his heart out. <laughs> <For no> raspy <laughs> as fuck, no belly, any auto tune, any of that shit. 
but um, heavy New York influence. But a lot of people gave him a lot of shouts. Like he, uh, Kanye gave him a shout out during the um, the uh, Life of Pablo album. He gave him a whole. Oh, fr- yeah, see, you that. don't listen to Kanye no, no more because you bugging out. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, he gave him a whole. He gave him a whole little uh, interlude and everything. He gave him like a minute and a half interlude. It was a phone call from jail. It was Max B. He like Yeezy, Yeezy, Yeezy. What up, nigga? Ah, yeah, it's the wax bigger about the way. She was fire. I ain't gonna lie. I know that. This is like 2016, 2017. So it was it was it was dope to hear from Max B. Ten years after he's been in jail. Ten years after you feel like somebody died out, but like uh, uh, Wiz Khalifa gave him, always give him his props. Um, yeah, ASAP Rocky. Of, of, co- of course, uh, French Montana. Of course, of course. Yeah, French, that's his, French that's his Montana came me. up under Max B. Yeah, if you don't he did. know who like French Montana was the man. Coke who was Boys with, came up out of. Yeah, Coke Boys came up that, out of that time that wave. Out of the wave. Then, listen, out if of you wave. hear anybody say, "Oh, that's wavy," that's, that's literally Max B's lingo, Legit. and that's it just is. going that's, on right to this day. That's, that's fifteen fact. years ago. That's a fact. If anybody, if you ever heard a nigga say, "Oh, that's wavy," yo, I'm wave. Any of that wavy shit, yo, that. yo, what's the wave? Because people say that now too. Yeah. Like, yo, what's the wave? Like when they ask, like, what's the move for the party? Like, what's the party? What's going on today? Yeah, that's like, what's the wave? That's big. That's Max Big Avell. Y'all don't even know that because you go on his YouTube right now. He got most of his songs don't barely got a million plays, and it's crazy because influence is so much past that. Influence is so much deeper than it. So much deeper than actually him himself. Yeah, exactly. And then you got you got motherfuckers like uh like you said uh French Montana came up under being Max B's cameraman. You know what I'm saying? French Montana was doing the Coke Boys. That was a DVD. Yeah, Coke it was. Boys, it, was. That, it was a documentary. That, it was documentary. It was him just doing basically hood vlogs on that YouTube. That was like a Smack TV. Smack, Smack TV, TV. DJ Vlad. Now, we got to give a big shout out to all the pioneers in this show. Because yeah. the DVD game was a hell of a that, time. What? That, what? The, the bootleg game? That, Bruh, that was. These wasn't even bootlegs yet. These was their original <laughs> products. You know what I'm saying? Coke Way of Coming Coke uh, Coke Boys was French as shit. That's not a bootleg. Smack DVD was Smack. That yeah. was that's not a bootleg. You know what I'm saying? Now you got niggas like DJ Drama, shout out to Drama, who who got federally indicted for uh copyright infringement and, and oh, yeah, piracy. Yeah, yeah. I remember because that. Because he was making the mixtapes. And I remember we used to go to our corner stores in the middle of suburban Teenage, New Jersey, and you would go into the fucking bodega. And you'd see all and you see, see all of them right there. You, you see a whole bunch of you you see a whole bunch of mixtapes. Um, and it'd be sure. DJ Drama, DJ Cannon, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Don Cannon. Um, That's what, you're right. And I, I remember that that era was that that era was gold, man, because that was that was a hustle era. Like the, people were getting rich off selling mixtapes at the back of their trunk, like selling mixtapes on consignment at the bodega. Like that Literally, was a different time. People getting money. And honestly, I'm, I'm really happy we got to live through that. We got yeah, to see that we shit have to first see, Yo, that yeah, that was, that was that was a different era. Yeah, because if, if like, when I tell my son ten years from now, I tell him like, you know, we used to sell hard copy DVDs and 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 tapes. Out the fucking boat day, you're like, what is a tape? Yeah, what I mean, does that mean? What the fuck is a DVD? What does that mean? What? You know what I'm saying? Huh? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> you mean music on discs? What? Right. Discs? Yeah, that shit is crazy. But that doesn't even make sense. Never mind. We're not going to get into that. Bro, yeah, yeah. We're yeah, not going to get into I, that. I, I but, never understood any of that technology. I but, know. um, but yeah, they they say Max B's coming home every, every <laughs> year, half a year. Yeah. It's always, it's always, it's, it, yeah. it always gets that buzz, but. But he'll, he'll be back, man. If y'all don't know, so Max B ended up getting caught up in a uh, conspiracy to commit murder. In um, Fort Lee, I'm trying to yeah, right in Fort Lee, New Jersey, right at the Holiday. It, 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 it was um, it was a robbery and the robbery that went wrong. Yeah, it was a robbery that went wrong, and long story short, apparently, he, allegedly, he had coordinated it. Yeah, his man ended up catching a body or whatever, and people don't even he, know. He was Max, the one calling the shots. Yeah, uh, allegedly. Prior to the thing is, people don't even know. Max B's old as fuck. Like he got popping almost. If I'm not mistaken, oh like oh he, eight. Well, really, like oh six, he started coming up. By, oh, he oh, was you going said, to jail. He I thought you said no, no, no. You said he got popped. I think. Oh, 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 no, no. He got popping, brilliant. But I was gonna say is he got popping. He was already like in his early thirties. Like he was already old. Like people don't know, Max B went to jail for seven years for kidnapping. If I'm not mistaken, I don't know. like. Yeah, he was already in jail for like seven years prior to prior to uh, getting locked up for this murder. So, um, long story short, he's like that. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and and another another person that he strongly influenced that has been buzzing recently is too O Three Greedo. I don't know if you're familiar with O Three Greedo. I'm not. You don't know O Three Greedo? Mm. I don't know who that is. O Three Greedo. You don't know who O Three is? Mm. Yeah, I mean, not for nothing. His 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 prime was short lived because. He got locked up too. He's like they call him like the West Coast Max B. Like if you listen to Oath, well, the Watts Max B because he's from Watts. Shout out to the whole Jordan Downs projects. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, he he's he was one of the like as far as influence, as far as sound, he was on some whole new shit. I I, I hope you go home and listen to Oath. You're gonna go home. I'm gonna check it out. YouTube check it out. him. I'm gonna check him out. He, he's he's raw as fuck though. Like he gives a very Max B energy because his videos is very unprofessional, low quality. That's how Max B. Yo, right. Back, Even the good. recordings. He yo, bro. O3 Grido has so many different pockets though. He jumps into this melodic sound. He can get very very rap, rappy rappy. But if you see him, he looks nothing like what he sounds like at all. 
Like I'm talking about this nigga looks grimy. He got living legend across his whole face. And <laughs> dreadlocks, he's a little older, he's damn near 40 already. But he's been he he got locked up in like 2018, got sentenced to a 20 year sentence um in, oh, in yes. Texas for getting caught with a semi truck full of guns and drugs, apparently. Oh, yeah. yeah, you know, Texas there. Done, done up. Texas. Yeah, done up. Done up. Texas and you black, yeah, that's a crime yeah. in itself. You know what I'm saying? Like two there's three places you don't want to be caught at. Uh-huh. Texas, mm-hmm. Georgia, and Virginia. Those I was going to say three. Mississippi, but yes. Those are the three <laughs> you don't, you, you don't yeah. want to go to jail at those three places. Yeah, Commonwealth is... The Commonwealth is different. Yeah, when I think of Virginia, that's all I know. It's Commonwealth. I oh, yeah. Mean, oh, listen. If you're driving down south, you, you better do the speed limit once you get through Virginia. Yeah, they no bullshit. They don't play that. No They bullshit. don't play that down there. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I, I know somebody who got locked up for a nigga. I think he, he was locked up for two months over like an eighth. Like they found in his bag at the airport. I believe it. I believe it. <laughs> they, they don't play. They don't. It's different. I'll be damn. It's, I lose my freedom for two months over a fucking. It's, it's, I'm starting it's, to riot. It's a different. It's, it's a different world. It's a different <sighs> vibe. That's you know, states' rights. You know, everyone. It's different. How they do things is differently. Yeah, man. Shit, it, shit is very weird. How state to state, there's different laws, different regulations. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yo. And you know what? I really, we really gotta talk about is as a culture, man. The 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 way that we approach. The way how we're so selective with the way that uh, we approach certain situations, like all right, so um, obviously you know the whole gunner situation, YSL, yeah. like everybody's calling him out for snitching. All that. I don't know if you've been hearing recently. You know who Real Boston Richie is, right? Yeah, yeah, I know. And you know what's crazy? Real Boston Richie, shout out to Real Boston Richie. Even know, though uh, we about to talk about it gets a little sticky, I actually seen him do a podcast in here. I forgot who it was, but he was here before years ago. Shout out! So what? it was kind of—I cra- swear to God—I thought I thought he was from like Jersey when I first just saw his face. I didn't hear his voice, but when I first saw him, I'm like, "Why is he at Bravery Studios? Am I bugging?" <laughs> I'm like, "Oh no, nah, Bravery Studios lit!" You yeah, really? shout out, mom. Uh, you feel me? I'm, like, I'm like, they got—they they got Bravery, him going yeah. crazy. But uh, real Boston Richie apparently has been um, caught up in uh, in a situation where uh, they're saying he told back in 2019. No, when he was 19, I think it was in 2019 though. <laughs> Um, and he's he's been called out to be witness number three in his paperwork for these murder cases, uh, multiple murder cases in Florida, like in his neighborhood. Everybody's calling him out. The paperwork's coming out, but you don't hear nothing of it. Do you, did you hear anything of it? I didn't hear anything. I rest of my it. case. You don't hear nothing of it. I didn't hear anything of it. Now with six nine, we were we were all parading, and and, and, and don't get me wrong, we should have yeah, fuck him. Yes. You know what I'm saying? He, fuck him. He's a, he, he's a piece of shit. Not even right, and not even from no he, street he, principle, a, no, no, no street no. morals. I, that ain't person, even me. Uh, as a right, like, as a person, you, you low blows, low blow. Yeah, like, you he, a like, shitty he, motherfucker. Yeah, he, yeah, he, if, yeah, if he's dirt bag. He's dirt bag. Yeah, to be putting people in positions to lock him he's up. He's a scum. It's a whole other conversation because those people should have been smart enough than to let this motherfucker in. That's a different conversation in itself. But morally, you're fucking twisted if you think that it's okay to just say I'm gonna commit all these crimes and when they're going against tough, fuck it, we gonna blow this shit up like and it, and, and not even that J- just just how he just how you know his whole claim to fame was getting into beefs and talking about people and you know right right, right. There, there's like, more I, to that, it. That, that's what i mean as far as about him being like he's a dirtbag like you feel me no for sure there, there's definitely more to it but at the end of the day man we can't be selective with the way we cancel that motherfucker especially agree. for this shit like if snitching is snitching then we 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 gotta what, what we doing about boston richie what we doing about you know what, I didn't. I, know, I, really, I, didn't, I don't really hear that about. I mean, this just came out like this week. Like, this came oh, out. So, may, so maybe you know. I mean, like, you probably still won't hear about it because he's futures artist. He's Boston Richie. We love him. He got force and he got a little Dirk feature. But we haven't heard a word. Nah. I Nobody didn't. speaking on it. You know what I'm saying? Well, as opposed to when six nine, you had motherfuckers coming. Niggas that wasn't even rappers was coming out. The fucking actors, and liked comedians. Them. Right. Nobody liked them. But. It, <laughs> I mean, it's like, bro, we 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 gotta figure out what we doing here. Like, I, are we well, gonna keep the same energy I, or not? I, I agree, and, and and like I said before, I, f- I feel like, um, but with that whole realm is that you know they live by different rules. You know, if, if you if that's what you sign up for, that's what you sign up for. You feel me? As far as, um, you know, the streets have their own rules, and you know that the streets have their own rules, and right. you know if you violate certain <laughs> rules, it is what it is, and and. Just because some people are civilians doesn't mean that they can't judge them by the rules that people, you know, that people sign up for. That's my that's my whole point. It doesn't matter what it is, you know. Yeah. I feel like, um, uh, and, and, and of course it's 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 just like it's just I feel like you can you can put that situation just like anything else. Like, um, if people's likable, they're gonna overlook certain things. Right. You know, if people don't like them, they're they're, they're gonna put it under a microscope. It's just, it's, it's just like anything, but. It's just it's just unfortunate. This is an unfortunate situation all the way around. Damn, yeah, that's tough. You know, it is unfortunate. It's fucking it's it's weird. But I, I just say keep the same energy. I personally don't care. I don't care. You know what I'm I personally don't care. I'm talking about it because we got a podcast. <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> you know what I mean. But at the end of the day, you know, it, it's just 
it, it's just it, it's a messy situation. It's sticky because remember um remember son what was his name uh pop little 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 pop little fuck pop. Got it? Fuck, what was his name? <laughs> oh, Lil Got It? Uh, Corvette Corvette. No, no, no. Corvette oh, oh, Corvette. Oh, 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 I know, yeah. I forget his actual name, yeah. but Corvette Corvette. How many we, like Listen, that? his whole career got destroyed by one allegation from when he was 13 years old where his mother told him to go tell. Like, we've never heard from him again. Pop Hunter, that's his name. Shout out to Pop Hunter. You know what I'm saying? They uh they tore him down. And I remember when he dropped uh, him and Lil, Lil Uzi the remix to his song, and then after the allegation, the, after the paperwork came out that he, he had told that 13 years old, um, Lil Uzi tweeted apparently like, yo, take that song down. You know what I'm saying? It never happened. And even crazier part is the reaction to Lil Uzi telling him to take the song down went viral. And then we find out that was a fake tweet anyway. Lil Uzi never said that. And that tweet still holds weight even though it was fake. People I, still hold I on to that. that. That's the worst. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, bro, nowadays you don't know what's real and what's fake You no really more. don't. Yeah. Oh. And after, after that, that led into a... a, a, a um, it was a bunch of different people. Gilly was uh, was trying to tear him down. Gilly the kid, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Wallow, everybody. They they denied. They didn't want to do no interview with him. They were like, oh, they had an interview set up for him because he's from Philly, and they were excited to see a young Philly nigga. You know what I'm saying? Coming up, they were like, oh, he did what? Nah, we good. And it's just like, damn, son. Like something he did at 13 as a kid, like as a child, like and I, and and it wasn't like he was in the streets. He said it very clearly. He said I wasn't even in. I didn't jump up the porch at 13. So I was still playing basketball and shit. He said niggas killed. I think it was like his cousin got killed, like in front of his house. Oh, and then he knew who did it. So. And he he saw it. And when the cops came, his mom told his mom took him to the priest. And you can't answer questions at thirteen without your parent present. No, you can't. You, you know. Can't. So um, you know, I don't know, man. This culture is just fucking weird, bro. How we do that to somebody and like he had such a, a a trajectory going in, and then all of a sudden one allegation or something like that, and all of a sudden we turn the rap game into the streets. And it's like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, we 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 blur the lines. The streets and the rap game. Yeah, it's no, the same thing. It, it is. Yeah, yeah it is. And at I, this point, I, I at this know, point, it really is. It's a lot of weird shit that goes on that really doesn't make sense to me. Like, I love Lil Durk's music, um, but a lot of times I get conflicted with Lil Durk. I'm not gonna lie, I do. I Durk, really yo. Like, like yeah, Durk, yeah, Don't get me wrong, Durk, Durk yeah, he's yes. a he's a fuck. Like, listen, the voice. if you would have told me. In 2011, yo, I was yo that out of all the all Chicago the, niggas, that Durk was Chief the one Key, that hit Lil Durk, uh, uh, Lil Reese, Fredo San, Fredo, rest in peace, Lil Fredo. Herb at the time, Lil Her, um, uh, Lil Bibby, motherfucking Lil uh, Zach, yes. But, but uh, hold on, there's mad other names that I can't keep forgetting. Not the point. If you would have told me that out of all of those names, the <laughs> biggest names in 20, uh, uh, 10, 12 years from then would have been Lil Herb yeah, and Lil Durk. You were like, no, you wildin'. Uh, what the fuck are you talking like, about? Like, what happened to Bibby? What happened? Right, right. Well, Bibby, Bibby fell back and signed Juice World. Bibby's up. Bibby's okay. up like a bitch. He got Juice World and he had signed. Okay, he signed that. the Kid Leroy. I don't know if you know the Kid know, Leroy. Yeah, is. yeah little boy, uh, white boy from Australia. Bibby's good, but yo, but no, <laughs> Bibby's but, good money. Trust but, but no, but back in the day, if you like when, when Chicago was buzzing, you would have told me 15, 10 years, ten years later, those that would you would have told me Lil Herb and Lil Dirk would have been the voice of Chicago. G I would have looked at you like G what? Herbo. Who? Who's? Yeah, you feel me? Like you telling me both of them outlast the Chance the Rapper because yeah. right now Chance the Rapper is still big, but like we're not checking for that nigga music nah. no more. He dropped some bullshit little wedding album. <laughs> Shit got me tight because I'm a giant Chance the Rapper you fan. Are. I knew like that. I, knew that. I, I ain't gonna lie, Chance the Rapper lyrically to me is top ten. And if you listen to his lyrics, you'll understand what I'm coming from. But back to me saying why Lil Durk's conflicting with me. All right, so it's like Lil Durk says a lot of things that are contradicting. And people don't see it. But like I guess me as an adult, I can see it. Like He said some slick shit like, uh, get out the streets, boy, you pushing 30. Lil Durk said that at like 28, 29. <laughs> I'm like, yo, my man, you do know you 30, right? And like all you rap is the streets. like, And you low-key be snitching on everybody like in your lyrics. But like subliminally. Like, so, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm no, just saying, he, I, nah, yeah, I'll be yeah. with the killers I'm hanging with on or something or something. Like, y'all know what song I'm talking about. Yeah. Come on, son. <laughs> I'll be with the killers I'm hanging with on. Come on, my nigga. <laughs> like, it, it's just weird. Certain, oh, I hate when rappers call these rappers brothers. You know what I'm saying? Like, he said that bar, right? As soon as him and NBA Youngboy got into this little industry rap beef, I remember that. He went and shot a music video with NBA Youngboy's number one op, Fredo Bangs. Fredo, Fredo, Literally yeah. had Fredo Bangs walking through Chicago, chains on, no security, no reason. guns drawn, in the middle of the trenches. I'm like... <laughs> that's mad petty. That's literally what you just rapped about you said you wouldn't do. You hate when rappers call these rappers brothers. Now this is your best friend. Now you got to yeah. stay in the middle of the Come on, my nigga. This yeah. is very weird. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. It's getting very weird. Yeah. yeah. I'm just saying, bro, we gotta we gotta hold these niggas to a standard. Like if we we if we if, if what they say holds so much weight, then, then we let's keep that energy that at every part. Right. Don't, hold to don't that just way. be saying shit and expect not to be held accountable. Yeah, like, oh, shit. oh, but we pull up the receipts. Like, <laughs> like yo, bro. Pushing 30, uh, my <laughs> man. You 30. What are you talking about? <laughs> nah. I don't know. No, yeah. No, I feel I feel what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? But and in the same sense, it's like uh 
you know, we 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 idolize and we glorify demons now, and it's fucking weird. When you really think about it, like majority of people in the world are religious in some form of fashion. Yeah, some fact, yeah. Or, or at least they denounce evil for sure. Even if you ain't religious, you be like, yo, anything negative, bad energy, I'm good off that. But we sit here and we idolize people like King Vaughn. You know what I'm saying? We idolize the people that are the killers. They got, yo, like, they, yeah, they got they got murals of King Vaughn. Right, I've spoken on this before, right? That's what I'm saying. It's like, yo, the, uh, King Vaughn has allegedly had over se- at least seven murders that he it, raps that, about. He yeah, said yeah, yeah, yeah. Times. And and and, and uh, they said um, post mortem, if he was still alive, he'd be charged in like three. Right, of them. right, right. By they, now, I mean, there was there was literally, a, uh, literally. there was there was an O Block Rico case, like O Block, the, the, his his project housing where all the, all of them were Chief Keith, Dirk, and all of them are from. They had a Rico that did, they just indicted. I forgot how many of I, I know for a fact, like six rappers all got locked up, including Moo Wop, who's one of Lil Dirk's like best friends that he always shouts yeah, out, yeah, always yeah, in the videos. Yeah. And they said that King Vaughn was supposed to be the top. Like, you know how when you when they had the police board, it'd be one face and then all the <laughs> and faces all under it? Connected? King Vaughn yeah. was this face. Yeah, yeah. King Vaughn was walking around Old Block giving out $10,000 Old Block chains uh, for God knows what reason. Like, nigga, we are in project housing. I don't need a $10,000 chain. Nigga, put $10,000 down on my housing. Go get me a house for that ten th- with that. To go put a down payment on the script, but you know we don't get into that part. Yeah. Point is, he would have been indebted for that. And like you say, he has murals. Hey, bro, there, there is families. Think about the dozens and dozens, if not hundreds, of people who knew the the alleged seven people that he murdered. That have to walk past these murals, see his face get glorified, see tourists come in and take pictures. Yeah. And and got their little kids like, this is Vaughn. Uh, yeah, Vaughn killed my cousin. Vaughn killed my sister. Yeah, that's He's how- killed women, children, all black. He's done nothing but harm black life. That's all he's ever. That's all he's nah, done. You're right. And we glorify it, and you know it. It, it, and, it gets a little conflicting because it's like, yo, what are we saying? Like we we're rooting for the demons since when? It, it it's you know it's it's, it's and very rest in peace to him. Nah, yeah, uh, yeah. Rest rest in peace to him. At the end of the day, I don't want to sound like I'm just shitting on Vaughn. I'm just no, no, no. It's a fact. No, it's it's, it's, a, it's a great example. We love we the love murderer. That. Yes. When we find out that our favorite rapper got went down for murder, oh my god, that's, that's even we, more we, of our favorite rapper. We basking it. We glorify it. Because now we believe him even more. Yeah, hey, you're right. It's what the fuck is and, going and why, on? And why? And why is that the culture now? What? Is, if we, is, and why you know, is that? And, no. and why is that the culture? Why? Why is? Why is the murder and 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 the um violence the parts that's glorified? You know what it is, though. And it's like, oh, so you really took what you're about? So I right, now nah, I beg that you even more. Exactly. You feel me? Because a lot. Because because to uh to be real, a lot, a lot of these artists, a lot of them are, are actors. A lot of them. Right. A lot of them are actors. And I, I miss that. A lot of them bring are really back actors. the liars. Bring back the lion ass rapper. Like, I don't want my rapper to be real no more. This but, shit is spooky, bro. I don't want to see them no, all go to jail, bro. But, all of my favorite but the rappers problem, is in jail. But my, but my problem is why 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 are you acting about that? Why can't you act about something else? Why is that why is that what what you're getting along with? That's all that's what I want to know. Why is that what the culture is about? That yeah. you're not even really like that, but that's what but that's what you gotta act like. And even worse too, nowadays the labels want that. The labels Absolute. wanna see you have beef because beef brings traction, brings oh, eyes. It, it, listen, it, it be, um I, I feel like the labels are responsible for a lot of the beefs that, that goes on because hey, as long as they're talking about it, you they're talking. Yeah, they're they, gonna check you out. They definitely agging it on. I'm not gonna yeah, lie. Yeah, like lit- like literally Six Nine's whole whole his whole run. With shock value and beef. Yeah. Shock value and beef. And the label was backing it up because they were hiring his security. They were hiring his armed security. He was walking around with his goons, but let's believe that label was like, oh, we're protecting our investment. Our multi million dollar investment. Yeah, he can hang with all them gangster niggas. We're going to have about four, six, four, seven foot bodyguards around this motherfucker at all times, though. You know what I'm saying? They're going to shoot some shit up. They're going to hit our bodyguards because we need to protect him. This little this little Mexican Puerto Rican motherfucker, we need to make sure he's good. But yeah, but, it's, you it's, know. It's it as a culture. I don't want to just blame us as a culture because it's in humanity. Humans love violence. There's a reason why, um, since the beginning of time, you got like our entertainment. <clears throat> Actually, I was just talking about this. So it's it's insane to me when I look at like football and I think about like how much we're in love with that sport. We think about boxing. We think about you know yeah. the, the the most popular sports, the biggest sports that bring the most attraction at one moment. Like don't don't nothing bring in a bigger draw than the Super Bowl. Nothing brings Absolutely. in a bigger draw than a fucking primetime Mayweather fight or Mike yeah. Tyson fight. Those yeah. pay per view numbers can't be replicated to this day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because we love the gore. We love it. And since the beginning of time, since the Coliseum days, when we take people and have them literally fight, they used to have real like wars like inside the Coliseum. Like, mm-hmm. yo, your gang versus my gang. We're going to get in the middle of this shit. And everybody Whoever makes it out goes home to their family. Whoever don't, 
It's part of the game. And, and, and everybody around them cheer. And, and, right, and then the whole city would come in, and these people would be glorified. They become they, they would become fucking legends, and you know, the legend of this, this, this person, this warrior, this warrior. That we love that since the beginning of time. Agreed. And I think about it like yo, if there was an apocalypse, like tomorrow, and a comet fucking strike the, the earth and everything got shattered, like the, the the next civilization of people, or let's say some fucking aliens land, they would land in this on this on this planet and they would see all these our coliseums are these football stadiums. They would see all these giant fields and yeah. they would run into these statues in front of in front of the, the, the stadium like the Philadelphia Stadium with Nick Foles statue or the Peyton Manning statue. You go to the Hall of Fame and you would see enshrined bronze statues. This is the exact same thing as them of us discovering like a Sphinx or us discovering these statues in, in, in um Rome and you know, we discovered these coliseums and all all these crazy, the, these towers and this, these crazy, uh, you know what I'm saying? Mon Monuments. Monumental I, 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 I see what you're saying. It's like, that's our version of that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 years later, we have these coliseums. We have these baseball fields, football arenas. And what ne the next civilization that's going to go discover this is going to be like, yo, what was happening on these fields? What do these lines mean? Why were all these seats here? Like, what was going on? And I think that's pretty dope, like, how we, le we left our imprint. But it's also just goes back to what I'm saying is, our 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 humanity thrives on violence. We love that shit. Yes. We need it. We and we, it's natural we for thrive, us. We thrive. On, it, it it is very natural for us. Um, but that being said, though, it, it's only our communities that are glorifying this type of violence. Our communities that are glorifying it in the music. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's the, what I'm saying. The, 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 these country, the people that listen to country music, people that listen to none but Taylor Swift. Don't get it twisted. They still feed their they still feed their need for violence. They're just feeding it in a different way. They're feeding it watching Game of Thrones. But, They're feeding but, it watching yeah, and the shout here's, Game but, of Thrones. But, but here's that's the difference. A fucking weird show. But the, but here's the difference. Mm -hmm. When we when you compare movies to music, you know movies are fake. That's the difference. You know these are actors. That's the difference. When you, when we you look, know that. That's, but that's what I'm saying. That's the difference. Some people don't give a fuck. Some no, people, some no, people but, love but, that I, shit. but I'm saying like, um, you know, you know, Denzel's an actor. You know, Will Smith's an actor. They play all these different characters. But when we're talking about music, sometimes you don't know the difference. That's who they are. Right. You feel you're me? Right, you're right. You're that right. You're Rick right. Ross is Rick Ross. It's not like he plays another character. You feel me? Regardless of regardless of what, what your I see opinion. What you're saying, though. That's yeah, the yeah. difference. So if you know that these people, you know that this is not real. You feel me? You, you right. can watch. You can sit down and watch we, Gladiator. We, you can sit down and watch Troy. You can sit down and watch Three Hundred. Yeah, you feel me? Right. But the difference is, is the lines aren't blurred like it is in music. I mean, that's one. That, that is a good point, though. You're you feel right. me? Because, like, like I was saying, we we tend to like the rapper more once we believe him because we see him do some fuck shit. We seen him risk his freedom. We seen him shoot at niggas. You and, know what and, and listen, and all, and all this is, and all this stems from the position that we were put in. You feel me? We survivors at the end of the day. All this is, is is in a position that we were putting. It's, it's, it's not our fault, but but we can we can change it. It's not our fault. The reason why we're in this position, but we have the power, and we have the power, and we, we can change it. But but we we bask in it. Yeah, you, we bask in it. We can yeah. change our situation, yeah. an unfortunate situation that we were dumped in, mm. but we 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 glorify it at the end of the day. And and like I said, that's when the lines get drawn. As far as you seeing you seeing your favorite artists. You know that they play that one character their entire lives. It ain't, it ain't like an actor that plays five different roles. You know, right, one right, season right. this, one season that. Right. You know that's fake, and and that's my whole point in general. The fact is, our society in general, we put so much emphasis on entertainment. That's why all these entertainments get paid so much. That's why all these uh, basketball players, football players get paid so much because we have we put so much um, merit. We put entertainment on such a high pedestal. Yeah. That um, that's why they get so much money from it, and at the end of the day, you have to get your education from somewhere. So if you're not getting your education where it needs to be, you're gonna get your education where you, where it doesn't need to be in the entertainment. You feel me? I can listen to, I can listen to drill music. I can listen to uh to to uh to, to gangster rap, but I'm listening through a lens of entertainment. Right. Right. Somebody that doesn't that doesn't have the lens of education, they're gonna get the education from that. Mm -hmm. So that's the big difference between it. Yet, we don't we don't put our emphasis on education like we should. We put everything's entertainment, entertainment. We want to as soon as we get out of work, we entertain ourselves to the next day of work. We yeah. entertain ourselves to death. Uh -huh. We don't worry about that's the education, fact. right? You're gonna get your education from somewhere. So if it's not in in a, in a great place, you're gonna get it from somewhere. So yeah, it, it's more about um, how we put entertainment on this huge pedestal and all these entertainers we look up to as gods, and then at the end of the day, these teachers are getting. 
um, getting screwed over in our society because we don't care about education. That's why. We care so much about entertainment. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Yeah, 100%. I definitely see what you're saying. And you touched on something that um, I actually heard Waka Flocka say almost word for word that we've been bred to survive. Yeah, absolutely. That's only in our community. Every other race or every other community. I don't want to say race because there's plenty of races in our community. Yeah. But outside of the, the, the urban community, I guess if you want to call it that, it, it, we we're bred to survive, where mm-hmm. everybody else is just taught to live, mm-hmm. and we're the only it, like is it, we're Different the only answer. animal like we're, we're only animals are supposed to be taught to survive. Yep. like they they learn how to survive. We're supposed to be worried about living, but we have such a hard time with that because there's so much against us that everything feels like survival. Everything feels like oh, how are we gonna make it to the next day? And you know, I feel like entertainment plays a big part of that because people that's that's almost like their way of escaping. Yes, entertainment. Yes, not escaping. almost. It's Correct. Like what it, it is. is. It is. That's what entertaining esca- is. Our way of escaping. Yes, right? escaping reality is Your entertainment. Your life's so fucking boring, depressing, is is is, is dull that you rather watch. Two bitches fight on Bad Girls Club on VH1. Yep. You'd rather fight. You'd rather watch Benzino get exposed by some shit. You know, like you'd rather watch the drama because you don't even have no drama. Like, yeah. You ain't got you, shit going on besides the fact that you hate the nigga you work in the cubicle next to. You yep. know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> it's like our, that. That shit is a. Uh, that shit is definitely like a it's a drug. Yeah. You know, TikTok don't make it no better. Like shit like TikTok and the way these algorithms work, they got this shit down to a science. To, to a science. To the point no, where Instagram right. actually just said they're about to move. Uh, reels are getting removed. They're uh, they're not gonna be completely removed, but there's gonna be like a real section. So if you wanna watch reels, you go to that Cause, section. Because it's but it's it's just literally ad- it's literally addicting. Like, yeah, they, like even like YouTube Shorts is all the same thing now. Yeah. Everything's the same thing. Um, and I want to touch on something that was, um, that was re- I want to touch on something that we that we're kind of talking about. So like you gotta realize um that um e- you know we were put in the position to where we had to survive. And now we created a culture of crime being cool because of having to survive, right? And you can think about it like if every action has a reaction, right? Right. If something happens in your childhood, right, that's an action. But the byproduct is you as an adult dealing with what happened as a kid. Mm. So that's the reaction of, of something that happened. It's not just the action that happened. It's the aftermath. Right. So, so you think about, um, you know, you think about being put in these situations where you have to survive, right? Right. Um, and you come up in these situations. The the people that are thriving are the ones you're gonna gravitate towards. It doesn't matter how they're getting it, but you're gonna gravitate towards mm-hmm. that. And now that's gonna be the culture. Now that's gonna be cool because right. you know you, you can do it. Um, you know the the real route, but at the end of the day, that person's actually really getting it. You feel me? It doesn't matter how they're getting it yeah, because yeah, you're yeah. in survival mode, right? Yeah. That's the person we're gonna idolize. So that's how. The whole culture came out of because of the situation that we're in. That's the effect of the cause of what happened. It's not just the action; it's the after effect that we that that has a pl- plays a big part in it, regardless of what it is. And you know what? Now that you say that, um, I want like if you realize it's not just in our culture that we glorify the crime. If you if, ask, ask a police officer, ask a judge, what's their favorite movie? They're gonna say Godfather. Yes, Casino. Yes, you're right. They're gonna, you're they're right. gonna say uh, they're gonna say Scarface. They're gonna you're say right. some gangster shit. Why? Because we love a successful criminal. It's not just in our culture. You're right. It's in our humanity. Once again, to what you said, you see somebody getting it, you're gonna you're gonna gravitate towards them. Rather you know, rather, rather it's the they're getting it the, the correct way or the incorrect way. We just love to see somebody thriving. However, in however which way we can reson- it, their, their character resonates with us, it we gravitate towards it. And I think that's also just right. once again that's a, it's a human thing, but it's different because we have such a we have such a plethora of the negativity. It's every single song, you know what I'm saying? The average American that's listening to you know Z100 and all those other radio stations, <clears throat> they only tune into the crime when they're watching Prison Break or some shit at nighttime. Their right. little one hour show, you know what I'm saying? Where we we're riding in the car to this drill shit. We're hearing rah rah kill them up. We're smoking yes. this pack that pack. Agreed. On agreed. our way to work. On our on way, way out home. Of work, yo, you know what I'm saying? At the gym, we smoking. Waking them up niggas. on Demon Time, like right, bitch. I'm on we're, Demon Time. We're, 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 <laughs> six in the morning on but Demon Time. But the difference is, is they're they're um. In a situation, what, what you're talking about as far as movies, they're pretending. We're, we're, this is actually in our in our hoods. This is actually but, things, stuff that's actually going on. You see, feel me? They, they they like we all like violence as a society, but they they put the lens on of of it being fake. They see, put the lens on. Of I feel it. like you're giving people way too much credit though. 
I don't think that's true though. I don't think everybody understands that it's fake. But now that they now that they don't understand, but just because you understand it's fake doesn't mean you want you don't want to go perpetrate it. You don't want to go reenact that. You know what I'm saying? There's so many there's so many uh, uh, situations where people are sitting there watching depressing movies and watching sick music videos, and then those people go out and go shoot up a school or shoot up a, a supermarket or some crazy shit. And it's not like these people didn't understand that that shit was fake. And you can't tell me that they had no influence at all. I don't mean to but blame. The, but that's not, the, but that's not their that culture, person. though. If, if they want to go shoot up a school and stuff, that's not their culture is what I'm saying. That's what? not being glorified, stuff like that. You feel me? That's what I'm saying. It's okay. not part of their culture. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? Those see, are anomalies. Exactly those saying. are crazy. Yeah, like, we actually glorify That's what I'm it. saying. That's These what people I'm, entrench themselves, but they choose that, and then they go into that, it. But that, then that, that becomes a culture, I feel like. Once you get into that emo, punk, rock. I don't want to say emo, punk, rock. Yeah, is, yeah. That you don't want, correlates to, to murder. But when you get into them pockets, listen, there's certain bands and shit. You, no, I, I can't of course, even, of course. I can't even on top of my head, but it's like, uh, yeah, that's I, not normal. I, like, I, absolutely. Shout out to Avenged Sevenfold. But like, they got one of my favorite rock songs called Backcountry. That is my shit. I, I ain't gonna listen, lie. System of a Down, those are my yeah, guys. Yeah, that's those what I'm saying. Uh, like, My Chemical Romance got some pretty dark shit. Like, yes, but, but but those are pockets is what you're saying. And there's pockets in the black community that talk about love and R&B. But those are pockets. I'm talking about in totality. When with totality, in, what in we general, think about. Yeah, yes, right. I'm talking about in general. You're those right. are little pockets here and there. Popular, our most popular songs are all. Yeah, all, all ever, almost like, all. Listen, if, almost listen, all. Listen, if to top it's not ten, Drake. and even Drake, Drake the top, listen, now listen, he, and, I, he and, and, and I'm not album. saying like I don't love this stuff. I love it, right? But I'm listening to it from entertainment. The top ten rap songs right now. Look at the lyrics yeah. right now on the charts. Right now, look yeah. at it. You You're feel right. me? We have pockets of the love, you know, R and B love stuff, soft stuff. But those are pockets. Those are not the the broad umbrella of of what what is cool, what we listen to. But, man, you, you know, feel me? When I think about it though, like we do glorify the violence in almost every step of our lives and not just as a community, as an entire humanity when you think about it. Listen to Cartoons and Serial by Kendrick Lamar and Gunplay. That's great. That's a great Yo, song, yeah. That song right there. Cartoons and Serial. Down to that ad-libs on that shit is so crazy yeah. when I listen to it. And the whole song, it, the song's playing and it's pretty much Kendrick explaining how everything on TV made him violent. And in the in the in the in the back, one of the the ad libs of the whole the whole song, he goes, Elmer Fudd said, laying him down. Yeah. Like the whole song, he keeps repeating that. And then I realized, like, yo, Elmer Fudd was the most violent motherfucker. All he wanted was static. If he saw Bugs Bunny or Daffy Duck, he's up in the pole. He's booming something. Blabbit season. And every episode, season. Every, every episode, season. he's blowing off. He's blowing uh, Daffy Duck's beak off, right or wrong. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Every episode, he's blowing his shit off. That's all he cares about. It's hunting season. And yeah, you could look at it. Oh, he's a hunter. Okay, no. What a little kid see is pew pew pew. Destroy the enemy. At the end of the day, that's yeah. all a little kid that, is seeing. That, that's a great song. That's, a, that, that, it's that's an a great amazing song. song. That's that song, great song literally touched my heart when I first that's heard it. I heard that song in like 2011. Shout out to Dash. My bro Dash put me on that shit, and he was like, "Yo, bro, you really gotta listen to this shit like four or five times to get it. But when you get it, you are gonna let me know." And I dead ass remember I hit him like, "Yo, bro, this shit is crazy." He gave me two songs to listen to. That shit and um, "High Power" by uh, Kendrick Black. Lamar. Bro, I'm Section sitting there 80. like, "What the fuck." I'm like, yo, this shit, these shits is real, real crazy when you look at, like the like what they're trying to break down. And Kendrick just has a hell of a way of breaking it down to us with music. But it's like, yo, he's right. Everywhere we go, every cartoon we see in Power Rangers, these niggas got guns. They're stabbing, they punching, they kicking, they fighting. Avengers, my all that shit is yeah, violent. All, my, all, my son's three years old. Everything he picks up is a gun to him. I swear to God. He he's running around my house right now with an Allen key like this. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah. I, Why? It, because the cartoon show. I'm not showing him no fucking evil mu uh, uh, fucking music video. I'm not playing little Dirk music videos for him. Nah. But he sees Paw Patrol running around with guns. He sees pajama the the pajama mask kids running around with, with guns. So it's like this, everything that, 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 in our co in our world has some type of violence to it. Yep. You know what I'm saying it, and it's entertainment. It's entertainment. So it comes down to man. I don't know what we're promoting and how this shit's gonna go. But it's it's, it's a spooky spooky uh culture that we live in as a humanity i i i agree um and if you go to the to the dawn of time is there's always been conflict mm -hmm. you know if you go back to the beginning of time we we've um this country has been established in 1776 there's probably been 20 or so years where, where we're in that war there we hasn't been a lot of years that we were in that war now nah, you're right it's always yeah this is the beginning of time this is the be it's, it's always about conflict and it's always about um power it's always about you know getting what the other person has or you know they looking at me you know that, that, that's what it's always about yeah you know what though i i do want to say that uh i think balance is uh balance the word balance like it really 
it 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 is what it is. It's exactly what it sounds like in the essence. Like where it's like we need that shit almost. Like it's 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 just the way of the world. Like it, yes, we 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 do need the balance. And if if you ask me, we need the balance. The balance has to be with education, because like I said, you're gonna get your education from somewhere. But, but see, if I, we're so entrenched in the entertainment, that's where you get. That's you feel me? There's there's people who who know the tea about everything. Who all, all in gossip? That's their education. You feel me? That's what they. That's what they grab. That's what they know. That's right. what their education is. They right, they right. don't know anything of substance. Literally, yeah. They that's what I'm saying. They can't tell you how to get to the supermarket. No, they can't no. Tell they can't. They, they can't tell you nothing. anything of substance. But, but they know you, all the celebrity gossip. Right, all the celebrity. They'll tell you what Jocelyn did. Uh, You'll get. You, you, they, they, they know. They know who's dating who and whose ex is which. Damn, that's bro, their. You know, that's their education. You get your education from somewhere. Damn, and then you're that, not using it as entertainment at that point. You're entrenched in it. Damn, that's what I'm saying. That that has to be the balance with the education. But we. But we're in a society that um, that doesn't put a high like if if you go in the um, Eastern world they put so such so, so much high value on education we don't hear we don't really care about education here right. as far as it's not at the forefront it's not at the forefront of uh, political arguments you know we we don't yeah it's about shit. money in China they go to school six days out the week and, yeah and they they school they start to like seven to like five bro I went out to China I went out to China um I remember that when I went out to China they were second graders speaking English. Cause they knew how how important English was. We don't care about stuff. That's, we don't care about nothing, like, other is, languages. That's, that's fucking crazy. like no yeah. legit second nah, graders. Nah, yeah, you're right. And legit. When, when I go elementary to, school, when I went to, I remember in Dominican Republic. Now everybody at the resort, resort speaks English too. Oh yeah, like they all speak English. This mm-hmm. shit is crazy to me. Like, you know, they 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 speak English. Some of them speak French. They tell them because I mean, the three main languages in the world are English, Spanish, and if I'm not mistaken, is no, nah, I don't think it's, it's. I think it is French. Between those, between those three, or it might be. Uh, uh, I don't know. I feel. I feel like. I feel like it got to be Mandarin. There's so many people in China. But I think there's a million different Mandarins, isn't there? No, man, Mandarin is is the main. It, there's it, one base language, but shit. You go, if you go town to town in China, that shit changes up. That's true. Uh that's true. But I mean, because of colonization, I can see French. That's what I'm saying, France, because they I got France. That. Obviously, they got Canada. Almost the whole Canada speaks French. They got, they got, they got, they got portions of America. They got portions of uh of the, the islands. All those islands down there, like Africa. the Cayman Islands, all that shit. Haiti, they speak like you know what I'm saying. All them islands down there. They got that, and then you got plenty of countries in Africa where they speak French. Unfortunately, so, uh, yeah, yeah, that shit is crazy. Uh, I could get a whole episode of that. I could get the whole episode of that. <laughs> I, I break we, that, break, I, literally break the whole episode of that. I would, I would love to, but um, that I know Portuguese is spoken a lot, but not no, but not like, yeah, yeah, not you know? not. I mean Brazil. Other than that. No, they got they got it in a couple of different places. They got it in some places in Africa and all that shit too. But yeah. I know a few. You feel. But yeah, anyway, <laughs> I just I don't even know how we got into the three main languages. But uh, but uh, but I just feel like um, that you know violence is something that is glorified throughout all different cultures, but it's really in, entrenched in our culture and the position that we put we were put into. Um, you know that that's that's what we see all around us. Like I feel like other cultures, yes, they might like shoot them up movies. They yes, they like what might like my, like. Might like my movies, but that's their escape. You feel me? That's not their reality. There's a difference. Having an escape and having a reality is two different things. Damn. Ding. You, you know? That was deep. That was deep. That's their you know, that's their escape from real life. That our reality is different. Damn. Having a, having it our reality that that's two different that's two different weights. Damn. And that is you know, and, and it's unfortunate, like I said, it was the position that we were put in. We have the avenues to change it, but it's been so entrenched in us. It, it would literally take, um, uh, it, it would literally take a, a reset of the mind, um, in order in order to get us out of it. We have the wherewithal to do it, but it's just so entrenched in us now. You know, yeah. it, it's going to be hard. Well, you know what I think it is too. Um, I think you just got to give it some time. You got to give it some hundreds of years. It takes time. Cause don't get it wrong, the same way we're looking at our culture, like damn, these motherfuckers are savages. They running around, they doing all the shooting, they doing all that shit. Four hundred years ago, these white folks that got from Europe was running around wild and doing the same shit, but, running around wild. But it's different. We're doing it because of survival. They doing it because they wanted to. It's different. Ding. It's 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 a, it's a different mindset. Damn. It's a different mindset. When you waking up, don't have nothing to eat, and you, you what you gonna do? Die. You go. You hold go, on. You no, gonna get hold it. Hold on, because no, no, no. You say they do it because they want to. I don't necessarily think that. I don't necessarily think that. As far as what? Explain. 
Because when they came, all right, so when the Europeans came over here, yes. you know what I'm saying? We're going to touch this real quick. I know we got to end the episode, so yes. I know I got about like two minutes. But all right, listen, if the Europeans, came, when they came over here, it ain't like it is now. They had to survive. How? Surviving off the land. They had to eat whatever. They, they got here because they wanted to colonize, because they wanted to expand the world. They wanted to make the world a bigger place, and because they wanted to claim something for themselves. Which is which is selfish in itself, but without it, we wouldn't be the world. We wouldn't have what we have. So, is it benefit? Do you want to say it's good or bad? That's up to you. But and did you say if you want to say they wanted to or not? That yeah, they it is because they wanted to. But yeah. for the greater good, if you think about it, at least I, I think so. Who? I think greater good for who? I I the natives? you know what you know I just, I'm just I'm just grateful for where, the time period we live in, and this wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for. Four five hundred years ago, the fuckery, the mindset of what they were on. Of course, it took a lot of bullshit to get here, but without it, what the fuck would we be on? What would we, we be on? I'd be in, I'd be in DR somewhere, no, smoking you, tobacco you, or be, chewing you, on you'd bullshit. Be, you'd be in, you'd be in, uh, probably be in Africa. That's what I'm saying. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even be here because I'm a fucking mix of three, four different, yes, literally, three different, literally. four, so. three, four different races of people. So it's like I wouldn't be here. So when I say they came over here. You said they because they wanted to, and I said there was survival. Once they got here, it was survival mode. You know what I'm saying? Once they got here, they're fighting against the natives because the natives is watching them eat their food, and it's like, yo, there's only enough food for you know what I'm saying. There's only enough food for I, so we're gonna have to we gonna have to kill them because they let them as the outsiders, so I became the enemy. I'm not saying that was the right thing, but it's the only way they knew. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, that I, becomes I, survival when it, when, it, when you're doing something because it's the only thing you know. That I, becomes survival, doesn't it? It's I, not because you I wanted to. I don't necessarily think. Well, in well, I know we got to wrap up a little in a little, but in a second, <laughs> um, when they came over there, a lot of the diseases that they they came in with um, really did a number on the natives. But I don't think that the basically ex- ex- extinct extinction of the natives was because of survival, because they were not violent people. It's not like they had to do that stuff in order to survive. I wasn't just talking about the violence that they committed against other people. I was talking about the violence they committed against themselves. Like these motherfuckers were shooting their neighbors, niggas was raping their own kids, oh, their yeah. wives. I'm talking yeah, about yeah. everything in totality. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I'm talking about the violence in totality, the way they were wilding, the lawlessness, the craziness, the shit that we no... think that there's only happening in the hood. Um, a couple hundred years ago, these white folks was wild. Not even a hundred years ago. Look at motherfucking um, uh, what was his name? Um, the 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 mob. Uh, fuck all the mob motherfuckers in the 20s and the roaring 20s when the motherfucking uh, Al Pacino. Al pa- right. Al-, Al Pacino's an actor. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I know who you meant though. Um, Al Capone. Al Capone. Al Capone. Right, right, right. I was gonna say Al Pacino is Scarface. Mm-hmm. I know what you meant though. Mm-hmm. Al Capone. All them crazy motherfuckers. They was running around rampant through the streets of Chicago. They were the first gangs in Chicago. Diff- yes. That's, so, that, that's because they were minorities at the time. That's because yeah. they were us at the time. Te- they were. They were a, a, a little step above us. Surviving though. Yes. Yes. Agreed. Agreed. So I just that's I because, you agree. No, but that's because <laughs> the position they were put in. They were minorities at the time. They weren't considered whites. That's that's what and I'm saying. And that's how they, when it was only 150 niggas coming off this boat and they landed in the middle of Plymouth Rock and there's 400 Native Americans with bows and arrows and horses and shit that these motherfuckers never seen. It was survival mode. That's they were no. the minority. No, no. Marvin Bucket? I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not gonna give you that because the right, you don't gotta is, give it to me. But right, I'm just I, saying. I just on this. I, 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 the, the difference is, is that um, the natives were, like I said, the natives weren't weren't on the war. They weren't on the war. Mm. They, they were they were peaceful. Like I said, you don't know that for a fact. I heard the natives was not playing. I so, mean, after I've I, heard it, it's conflicted stories. I mean, there's plenty of different experiences. There's been thousands, millions of experiences. Oh, yes, you know? yes. One boat might land and shit might be peaceful. One boat might land and get to some nothing but arrows getting strung at they shit, rocks and fire sticks and shit like that. But I know the natives were fucking. Most of them were fucking terrified because they ain't never seen a fucking object this big. And then the shit is floating on water. Who is this? This got to be Jesus <laughs> Christ. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> so. I mean, but on that note, you know what? We're gonna have to, we're gonna get back on this. We all, yeah, we, we go, let's go find a history teacher, some historian or some yeah, shit for real. I'm sure we know some history teacher by now. <laughs> we old enough where we know somebody that teaches history. But you know, it's um. Listen, man, it's been a free jazz podcast. We touched on a, on a litany of you know what I'm saying different topics. Yeah, a whole Pre- lot of appreciate stuff. litany. You see how I did that? But appreciate y'all tuning in, I man. See you, litany. Okay, litany. <laughs> listen, episode man, 44. Episode 44, man. It's been going, man. Thank you. Shout out to y'all, man. And yeah, we shout out Bravery Studios and all. Bravery. Yeah, Thank you.